What's going on? What's going on? What's going on? It's your boy Ty back with another banger. Yo, so today, 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 Runway Gen 2 has just released for public consumption. This is amazing. People have been going crazy. Now, I've had a chance to actually be a beta tester for Runway Gen 2, and I'll let you guys in and see you know, what we've been able to work with. And what's been really cool is they still allow us to do 10 free generations per day, but this is like text to video. It's amazing for some of the things that we've been able to create. But yo, let me tell you guys, let me tell you guys. So Runway Gen 2 has been transferred transformational and changing the way people have been creating video another thing apple vision pro oh yeah you know we're going to cover that open ai has this thing called shape e and it's a text to 3d model you know now making 3d models in the past were much much harder you would have to go to blender or go to unreal engine and actually build this thing or use something like zbrush now they have text to 3d models and all you have to do is just upload the material and voila magic also also i got my handy nanny notes right here right also we have the palm payment now this is crazy this is some crazy groundbreaking technology that's leaked into china and then we have a lot of new things so all you guys need to do is make sure you smash that like button and stay tuned now let's get right into this thing now this is a text to video generator that uses four second clips and for ten dollars you get a thousand credits which translates into 200 seconds worth of video okay so yeah there's a pay to play but i think it's just i just think it's really really worth it now this also comes after it i was wondering why did they release this thing so quick right why did they release this thing so quick and i was wondering why now this is the real reason there was something that came out that was called the potent one by this dude named cameron drew right and i guess it was the challenger to runway gen 2 and they just rushed the production i feel like you know they should have stayed in beta a little while longer just to you know forward develop it but the technology is moving so fast it's just like this is mind-blowing but let's get right into it just so you guys can see all right now this is a upscale clip of a robot the prompt i typed in was a cowboy robot running through the jungles shooting at giant pizza monsters now you can type in whatever you want to type in but for me this is what i typed in and this is what we came out with now, as you see, there's no audio, so all the audio has to be edited in. And then if I want more scenes, then I have to keep typing in the type of scenes that I want. But this is truly transformational for where video creation is going. You no longer have to. Well, I can see the elimination of a lot of jobs, but I can also see the creation of a lot of jobs as well. You know, um, the better you can prompt, the better type of format, and the better type of videos that you can get. So there's going to be a lot of new things opening up. Now, let's just watch this one more time. You can see the, the thing shooting off of here. It kind of looks like Transformers. I think that's really cool. Once again, like I said, you can put in, you know, whatever you feel like putting into the clips. Um, you see the commercials and things that we've been making. A lot of that stuff um, I was making when I was inside of the beta. We're no longer in the beta anymore. But as for where this thing is going, truly next level. Runway Gen 2, I will go check it out. All right. If I were you, I will go check this thing out. Like I said, this thing is going to it's going to really change. It's just going to change the way we do video. So I want you guys to go check it out. All right and this is what actually i feel like forced runway gen 2 to release really really early so cameron drew comes and he uses well he uses something called lambda right and basically trains a, a video model and when he trains these video models they do the same thing as runway gen 2 but it only does one second worth of video as runway gen 2 does for a second so i think this was truly remarkable just to see that there are other models you know out here um they're all in a space race right now just trying to continue to push everything forward you know but this is where we're going this is where the future is going text to video is going to get you know you're going to start seeing a lot of different commercials a lot of people going for short films and you know uh, might even possibly be seeing full movies being done using text to video models now this just in hey you've heard of fortnite right okay so the creator of fortnite is a company called epic games now there's another company that owns a 40 percent stake in epic games they actually own a piece of activision blizzard and some of PUBG as well that company is called tencent and they just introduced this new thing called a palm payment system out in china and it's completely mind-blowing let's get right into this thing Let's get right into this thing. Cashless payments using QR codes and even facial recognition technology. And now I can even pay with my bare hands. On May 21st, 
Chinese tech giant Tencent officially released its WeChat Palm payment feature. I'm going to try it out on a subway ride at Dashing Airport Express Line. Let's go. This is crazy. First, I have to register my palm print on a designated device. Like a fingerprint. To my payment information. Then I need to hold my hand over the scanner at the turnstile with a green ring. Yo. To trigger an automatic payment through my WeChat account. And just like that, I'm in. The whole palm payment experience was smooth. Even though palm payment is mostly limited to transportation for the time being, in future it could be adopted by stores, restaurants, and many other venues. Yeah, According I could definitely see that. The new feature I could is definitely see that to make payments more accessible, especially for the elderly and people with disabilities. However, it is also raising security concerns among people who fear the biometric data could be hacked. And that's very true as well. See, it, there's a lot of different things that comes with, you know, innovation. Um, and I do see the pros and the cons to this device and this technology. But just let me know in the chat what you guys feel about this new technology, because I think it's definitely getting freaky and sci-fi out here. The Apple Vision Pro. Yo, truly transformational. Where we're going this is just about to be groundbreaking. Now for the small price tag of $3,500 and a little bit of your arm, you can too enjoy an Apple Vision Pro. Now let's get right into this thing. Let's get right into this thing, yo. OG, mind blown. <laughs> this is what you see from me right now. It's beautiful. It's a beautiful object. It is. The real thing, of course, that it does is enable you to see, hear, and interact with digital content right in your physical space as if it's there. That's spatial computing. And spatial it, computing is going to change the world, especially for all the new content and you know all the new creation and things that we're bringing into our world. I feel like you know now that whole metaverse idea is definitely going to come to play. But let's you know let's look more into this. Let's look more into this thing. It is a big idea. It is a big Apple idea. Welcoming in a new era of spatial computing. You can immerse yourself in movies, TV shows, sports, and feel like you're right there. You can right? take photos and videos and then enjoy those and bring back memories as if you were there. Yo, so, so are we ever going to leave home? You know, I, I have a question. You know, are we ever going to leave home with all these products? Everything is right there. Like, how's our experience going to be on the airplane? Or how's our... I have a lot of different questions. About one thing. It's a, it is a platform. Yeah, so it is. we can't wait to unleash it to the developers so they can begin to work on applications for it. It's going to be insane. Work, home, and at play. ABC. It's gonna be insane. I think it's gonna be insane. Let me guy, let me uh, know what you guys think in the chat. We're gonna get more into detail with this thing as well, but just At let me know. Break. Apple Vision Pro is Apple's first ever 3D camera. And it's a 3D now, camera. You can capture photos and videos with remote. Capture photos and videos from what you're looking at out of the bro. You feel me? Nah, bro, yo. Remarkable depth and relive a memory as if you're right back. This is the future, y'all. In the exact moment. And you gotta think like Apple got augmented reality, natural intuitive controls, like MacBook integration. You know all Apple products have the MacBook integration. The new entertainment experience, which is being able to watch the movie and interact with it. So now like, bro, bro, Jurassic Park is like right here. So hey, imagine horror movies, you guys. Imagine horror movies right now in the chat. Let me know, let me know right now in the chat. What movie are you gonna watch in this thing first? What's the first thing you're gonna do? I know for one, one thing I gotta do is I gotta trade on it. So I'm gonna pull up a bunch of different trading screens and shit. That's gonna be crazy. It's gonna be crazy. My mind's gonna be blown, y'all. Mine is gonna be blown. But be able to, to capture something like that is just, that's wild. Let's keep watching though, let's keep watching. And you can make the screen as big as you want. Spatial audio surrounds you and makes you feel like you're a part of the action. Right. Bro, and so is this the first, and I have other questions too. Is this the first, is this like the start of the of the artificial robot takeover? Because I mean, everybody's locked into this thing now. You know what I'm saying? Like, where do we go next? Like. Cause, because, you know, technology, it already starts off big and clunky and then they just make it smaller and smaller. So we start off with these big, crazy goggles, these space goggles, these 
you know, these interesting pair pair of goggles. And then what do we go to next? This uh, implant, like two eye implants, like, bro, hey, yeah, right? Extraordinary cinematic experience. FaceTime. Amazing in Apple Vision Pro. Walking around. You see people life size. And with spatial audio, you hear them as if they're right in front of you. So conversation Ooh. is more natural and collaborating becomes even easier. And because you see the world around you, you can glance at a notification. That's crazy. And even connect your Mac. View the world. It flows seamlessly into a lightweight aluminum alloy frame that gently curves to wrap around your face. This is about to be sick, y'all. Because you wear Apple Vision Pro and your eyes are covered, we engineered a system that uses advanced machine learning to represent you realistically when this you're in FaceTime. Your persona dynamically reflects your face you and hand. And we get an AI face uh, avatar. Yo. Movements. I'm doing well, thank so you. So when you're chatting, Berlin. Great. people see your eyes, hands, the, your and emotions, basically. That's crazy. And packs 23 million into two panels the size of a postage stamp. And then it makes That's it more than a 4K TV for each eye, giving you jaw. So how does it work? Like, you know, I have like I said, I have a lot of different questions. Like what about the stress on our eyes and things like that? You know, we're going to be putting in some real time inside of this device. So but I, once again, I think they have that part figured out, but I just cannot wait for the release. You guys let me know in the chat what you think about the Apple Vision Pro headset. I think it's truly remarkable. Um, I just can't wait to get my hands on one. You already know the vibes, man. You already know the vibes. Now this just in, NVIDIA also takes its shot at the text to video creation chamber. Now, Check this out. It's called the NVIDIA Omniverse. And I'm going to get right into this. But I thought this was really, really interesting. All these AI commercials and all these, you know, these groundbreaking innovations were being done. So NVIDIA is like, you know what? Since we want to lead the charge, once again, let's get right into it. Now introducing the NVIDIA Omniverse and Generative AI. Watch what this thing does. To realize the benefits of AI. NVIDIA and WPP are building a groundbreaking generative AI enabled. That's what Mid Journey does. That's what Mid Journey does. So what they're doing is actually making a full content engine. So you'll be able to make all of this inside of one engine. Enabled content engine to enable. And you see how you're able to drag and adjust things. Let's run that back. Watch this. You can actually drag and adjust. That's a feature that we haven't been able to use to actually um, use and move the objects inside of the photos or videos that we can create. This is giving us full capabilities to be able to do that. And I think the technology is transformational. It's the reason NVIDIA keeps going up and up and up. I mean, look at the stock market, baby. Content engine to enable the next evolution of the $700 billion digital advertising industry. Built on NVIDIA AI and Omniverse, this engine gives brands the ability wow. to build and deploy product accurate and brand compliant content faster and more. Do you understand? We were doing this in Unreal Engine and now in a few seconds, we're going to be able to just type in exactly what we want. NVIDIA is doing something that's truly groundbreaking. I think we all should just, you know, take notes. More efficiently than ever before. The process starts by building a physically accurate digital twin of a product using Omniverse Cloud, which connects product design data from industry standard tools. Then crazy. WPP artists create customized and diverse virtual sets. Yo, I'm lost for words, bro. <laughs> Yo, do you hold on? Hold on. You're typing in the 3D model of exactly what you want. It's giving that to you, the 3D model, and you're placing it right in there and it's giving you that tree or that shrub. First virtual sets using a combination of digitized environments and generative AI tools by organizations such as Adobe and Getty Images trained on fully licensed data using NVIDIA Picasso. Wow. Ensuring that generative AI content remains accurate and on brand. Wow. This unique combination of generative AI and manufacturing data allows WPP to build accurate photorealistic visual content and e-commerce experiences that wow. bring new levels of realism and scale to the industry. Transformational, y'all. Transformational. All I have to say is mind blown. 
like comment and subscribe for more ai news you know we're gonna stay on top of it you know i love the transformations that that are just coming in this field there's always so many new products and so many new adjustments and things coming out at just lightning speed and if you want to stay tuned to them all just stay right here baby because you know what it is now it's your boy ty hey yo and i'm about to slide peace out